This quest starts at the beginning of the prologue. At the start of the game, Howie the Hobo will ask you to defeat a Minotaur, and if you don't come back and tell him that you've done this, he won't appear in the hobo camp. Once you arrive in Ocean City, immediately head left and give the hobo on the bench two meat. With those two done, we should be clear for the prologue. After we wake up, you want to head towards the boardwalk and give the hobo there five meat. It's kind of a running theme. At Goldthwaite Park, take the side quest as a security guard, and you can meet another hobo playing at the fountain. Give him 50 meat and tell him to leave as a favor from you. If you try to bamboozle him, he'll just disappear from the game instead. Once we discover Marvin's mailbox, we want to take his quest and head to Hiram's, where we can pay another 10 meat to another hobo. That should be all the hobos in the first chapter, so make sure to talk to them and learn their secret code. You can even take Obi here as a companion. Heading into chapter 2, we can find a hobo trapped in this cocoon, and another stuck in the junkyard. If we head to the hardware store and place the outhouse and sandwich, we can head to the pass and scratch up a sign on the gazebo. This means that in the future, a hobo will be there to recruit. In chapter 3, we can head to the zoo dorm to find a hobo selling moonshine upstairs. We have to once again pay her off, but that's another one to add to the collection. While wandering around, you can find another hobo selling us things. Oddly enough, instead of paying him, we have to talk to the Hobo King back at the camp to get a royal summons. Only after doing that can we recruit the Merchant Hobo. Once we discover the bridge through Rufus's quest, we can translate some Hobo code to find another Hobo underneath the bridge. You can also teach us how to fish better. At Mudhenge, we can find some more runes that lead us to a boxcar with a diagonal Hobo in it. He sends us on a quest to a haunted house to collect some padlocks. It's fairly straightforward, just check the radio for clues. If you're stuck, check the empty potted plant under the workbench or behind the eye patch portrait. Once you return the locks, you can finally recruit him. The Monster Shack has the best accessory in the game, and one of the quests takes us to meet the Moss Man. After we clear up his questions about who he is, whether a monster or a human, you can ask him if he's a hobo and send him to the camp. Just don't tell him he's a monster, otherwise you have to fight him. The last hobo in Chapter 4 is found in Gatorman Hamlet which you unlock by talking to one of the leaders of the Largemouth Bass Company. Inside the second house, we can find a peaceful looking gator man who wants to become a hobo. In order to make the journey, he needs a weapon strong enough to protect him. Slap a sharpening stone onto something decent and it'll probably work. Finally, we're in chapter five, where we want to talk to all the people outside Jasper's to get their quests. At Macmillan Cuddy's farm, we can find a hobo disguised as a sheep, though we need to clear out all the ducks first if we want to talk to her. If you're having trouble with all the armor checks, you can take the Haunted Duck Call and drop it into the Heck Hole for a Cursed version. This item will scare off all ducks, guaranteed. Inside the Cursed Cornfield, you can find a hobo cooking an unknown soup. By flexing our huge muscles, brain, or tongue, you can convince him to go to the camp. The last hobo is hiding in the Black Gold Mine, which you can find with our mob connections. In the basement is a bunch of vampires at the fight, and all the way in the back is our hobo friend. Once they send him to camp, we can go talk to the king and get our reward. Uh, as long as we got letters to tell us about his secret plan anyway, I kind of forgot to do that myself. In any case, thank you for watching. As usual, if you have anything you'd like to see or need help with this game, leave a comment below and I'll try to respond to it at the very least. Otherwise, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.